For the first time since the pandemic, Birmingham's Freedom Fest is scheduled to be in person this Saturday at Kelly Ingram Park. Can't wait for this. And joining us in studio to talk about this epic event, yes. I say epic, is Rashida Leroy, the executive producer of Freedom Fest. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good. How are you? You're you're excited about <laughs> this, are you not? So excited. Like the return of Birmingham Freedom <laughs> Fest. We are back. 2019 was our first year right. in the Civil Rights District. Two virtual festivals in 21. 20 and 21 came off the heels of World Games in 2022. So we're excited to be back in the district, ready to have a good time. The virtuals were very successful, by the way, but tell yes. us about Freedom Fest. What is Absolutely. It? So Birmingham Freedom Fest, which is presented by the city of Birmingham, mm -hmm. it's a music festival that we've curated for Birmingham and for those who are interested in coming in our city. We start with empowerment. So we have four empowerment sessions on Saturday that kick off at 10 a.m. Uh, two will be at 16th Street Baptist Church and then we'll have two at the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute. Those sessions will talk about, you know, resistance. We're uh, celebrating the 60th anniversary of the Civil Rights Movement. We'll talk about 50 years of hip hop. We'll have a session about wealth and equity and what that looks like 60 years later. And we'll also talk about athletes and social justice. So excited about that. And then at 3 p.m. we move into the music. <laughs> so that's like the fun part, right? We have Southern hip hop MC Big Crit. We have R&B artist Jadena. Wow. We have a few local artists, but what I'm really excited about is this special tribute that we'll do for the 60th anniversary of the movement produced by Terrence Baldwin mm -hmm. featuring Ruben Stutter. Wow. So it's gonna be amazing. I don't want anybody to miss this festival. If you love Birmingham, if you love Alabama, Birmingham Freedom Fest is where you need to be on Saturday, July 29th. Well, now that you've thrown that all out yes. there and you've gotten everybody's <laughs> attention, oh, what do they need to do to, to, to attend? Right, so you can go online. Mm -hmm. It's freedomfestbhm.com. Right. Purchase your tickets. Tickets are $20. We wanted to make sure it was accessible for everybody to come. Mm -hmm. That's freedomfestbhm.com, $20 tickets. You can also visit us on Facebook, Instagram, Freedom Fest BHM. And I know that we're talking about the music and, yes. and that's always exciting, but these empowerment sessions, you've got some impressive speakers. Do you we not? do, we do. We have Mayor Whitfin who's going to moderate a session for mm -hmm. us. We have athlete Chad Slade who's going to be talking about, you know, 50 years of hip hop. We have Bob Dickerson, who's going to do a one-on-one -on -one interview with Isaac Cooper. These are two generation right. of like financial experts mm -hmm. who are really going to be talking about wealth and equity and where we are today. So, and we have many more. So I really want to encourage people to come down. And what's even more exciting is where we're doing these sessions. Mm -hmm. So to be inside of the historic 16th Street Baptist Church and to be able to have these conversations that will really push our city forward, that will really push our state forward, I'm just excited excited in the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute. I tell people that is a gem in our city. <laughs> if you have not had a chance to tour it, you can come down on July 29th. You know, take advantage of Birmingham yeah. Freedom Fest, but also go inside of the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute and learn about our history there as well. Rashida Leroy right there. Thank Birmingham you. Freedom Fest yes. this Saturday. Fred.